everyone you welcome back to my channel I'm Favor Napoleon on today's episode we're going to be discussing something very sensitive you know before I slept last night I talked about this that I'm going to be um, filming this episode today but when I, w I woke up very early to film and I just wanted to eat beans by all means so I had to cook beans and now I'm supposed to eat. I told myself, if I eat these beans, I might just fall asleep and not film anymore. So I'm going to be doing this first before I go and eat, shop my beans. So let me just show you the beans first. This is the beans, guys. This is the yam. Ooh, that was the yam. Okay, let me sit down so that we'll go to the topic of today. Let me look, let me sit here. Most of the things I'm going to be saying today, I'm going to be personalizing them. You know, there are times you just tell yourself, I'm not going to drink yogurt. Mm, I don't like yogurt. <laughs> After some time, as, year, as the years goes on, you find yourself that you are not addicted to yogurt. But <laughs> so life is like that there are some things you just tell yourself that you can never do oh i can never marry a man who is 20 years 30 years older than i am i can never marry a man with a big tummy and they i can't i can't go to some setting uh, uh you need to study this you know we just have this kind of things that we tell ourselves we can't do and at the end of the day as years goes by as time goes by we find ourselves doing it just like for me for example i hope my husband doesn't watch this episode i used to tell myself that i can't marry a man with a bad head you know when we were dating i didn't even notice my husband had such head <laughs> until i got into the marriage i was like what so you have a, you have a, you have a bad head you know i was like what you're kidding me so things just happened like that you know there are some certain things you just think you can do you know as many years goes by you find yourself doing it for example this hair i'm carrying now right now is a wig i got it as a gift i personally i don't like wig i don't like carrying wig i just have different kind of thought about wig that if i carry a wig maybe if i go somewhere my hair might just fly off or something i just have some certain things that 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 would not make me wear a wig natural that will not make me wear a wig but when i got a wig as a gift i got three wigs as a gift and during the epidemic i couldn't make my hair so i had to wear wig to film then i started liking it because of the comfort no stress my hair does not need to nothing is holding my head back you know and i just liked it i want to say thank you to my big sister she was actually the one that got me this hair i call her mom mm, thank you mom you know she knows i don't like wig i don't like wearing a wig but she bought me this wig and i loved it you know so that's how life is we easily um judge people because we are not in in that position that they have huh? How can this person do this? How can this person do that? You know, how can this person go for this? But by the time we get to our level, we'll find out that we might do much more, even worse than what they are doing. Some people will say, I cannot marry a mother that has kids. At the end of the day, as years goes by, you can marry a mother that already has six children. You know, that's life. Life just happened. I'll also give an instant when I was in the uni. You know, I got into school, my parents were in there, my siblings were in there, I had an opportunity to explore, to do all sort of things. I got to meet new people, I met a lot of different kind of people, you know, I had neighbors in the hostel who were smoking. Some, were, some would drink and forget about themselves, some were into prostitution, a lot of different attitudes. My parents already had those believe in me, they already trusted me that, oh, she's already an adult, she can take care of herself. Herself. So each time I think about her, oh, what will my mom do if she hears if if she hears that I'm pregnant, or what will my mom do if she if if she notices that I start smoking? I had a lot of information that gave me that same power that didn't make me go the wrong way. I was able to withstand those pressure. I will not say that. If I see someone now who is 14 years old that get pregnant, I become judgmental because say, hey, in my time, I didn't do this. In my time, I didn't get pregnant. No, I won't say that because the world is different. I had a 
same power that was able to, to withstand some certain attitudes, some certain characters, some certain habits. I had, maybe I had, I was able to create my own environment, even in the midst of a bad environment. But I will use myself to compare someone else because the world is different. The age I was then was different. I didn't have access to Facebook. There was nothing like Facebook that time. I think it was when I was about rounding up school. That was when we started using phone in my country. So I didn't have access to a lot of things. Maybe if it was the world, the world right now, maybe I wouldn't have been able to withstand those things. Who knows? So I will not say because someone got pregnant at the age of 14, I'll start judging that person. Oh, why didn't you do this? Why didn't you do that? Why didn't why will you allow this? Why? Because the world is different and it's different personality. It's just like if you have four, five, six children, the, the children, even if they are born from the same womb, they are different. You there are some children who are timid. There are some children, there are some people who are outspoken. There are some people who can be able to um, um, we stand pressure, but others may not be able to. So let's not be judgmental because there are some things that we can, we are doing right now. We see others doing, and we feel, oh, why would this person do this? Why would this person do that? When it gets to your turn, you might even do the worst. So let's not always be, um, be quick to judge other people. Let's not be quick to judge people because. By the time you wear their shoes, you will know how it fits. It's, it's just like when I was growing up, you know, there are some certain things we complained about our parents. Oh, our parents didn't do this, our parents didn't do that. Now, I'm a mom. I keep asking myself, how best can I be able to raise my children? Now, I now know how, I now know the value of what my parents went through to bring me up. So, I'm trying to transfer those things to my children to train them rightly and i've seen the stress i'm going through or we are going through to do that now i'm appreciating the strength of my parents but it, when i haven't gotten to this level i didn't used to think like this so in life let's not be quick to judge i remember those times people do ivf oh when people start complaining oh why are you trying to help god to do ivf when they get to their turn, 10 years, 15 years, they don't have children. Even there are people who do IVF like 10, 15 times. They end up still not having children. So life is in stages. So let's not be quick to judge other people because when you get to that level, you will really understand how it is. As we grow, as we as as time goes on, things begin to change. You find out that there are some certain things you used to you stick yourself to, but you find out that you can't do those things anymore. You know, as time goes on, uh, um, knowledge is increased, information, your mindset changes. You know, things just happen to you that you learn from lessons. You know, it it, it might even be bad things. It might be some habits that you just let go. It might be some good things that you just introduced to your life. You know, that is how life rolls. You know, that is how we rock this life. And I hope you enjoyed today's episode. I really want to know your take up on this. You know, this was actually what I thought about. And I feel, oh, let me share it with you guys. Let me know what is what are those things that you, you thought you could never do and you find yourself doing them now. What are those things? I really want to hear them in the comment section. Promise me you're going to stay happy and see you in the next episode. See ya, see ya, see ya. Bye.